there's big money on the line, over $100,000. 50 teams in this area, all premium, high quality King Micro Fishing teams. It's a prestigious event and one that everybody that enjoys being part of it really wants to win. It's a fantastic tournament, big community event, and we love participating. This week on Troll the Edge, we're going to be fishing the Swansboro 5-0 King Mackerel Tournament. It's a historic tournament in our area. It's been around a long time, and the Swansboro Rotary Club is very impactful in this event and in the community. It's a fantastic event, and we look forward to being part of it once again. We have for 20 years, and every time we go, we have a good time. Sometimes it's win, sometimes not so much, but we're going to give it our best. King mackerel tournaments require us to get up really early most of the time and uh, no exception to this one. Woke up about three o'clock each morning going out trying to find live bait. We had some pinned up for the see if indeed it lives so we can go fishing right away to meet the early 7 8 line. First morning of the uh, 43rd annual Swansboro 5 -0. What an exciting event. Uh, we've got a really good friend of ours on the boat with us uh, for this event, Alex Burgess, who's a former SKA national champion uh, down out of West Palm Beach. Joshua and I, are, uh, we're on the boat ourselves today. Crockett's unable to fish in this event, had some work obligations, and um, pretty excited about the event. It's going to be tough weather. This is uh, first day Thursday, and um, it's uh, the weather's going to be bad, but today's a looks like a pretty good day but Friday Saturday will be tough so we're hoping to get out there it's a big fish tournament there are some aggregate TWTs but it's going to be a uh, it's going to be a tough competition great 50 teams here fantastic event the Rotary Club in Swansboro has done something for many many years and it supports the community very well a lot of scholarships and that type of thing so a lot of great teams good competition great organization and we're excited about the event so we hope to be able to bring you some big kingfish and uh, some fun here on the show yeah a lot of times um, you know we can take our recreational limit of bluefish which is 12 um, and so we didn't have any pinned up. So right here at the, uh, at the bridge, right under these lights, a lot of times so, uh, if the current's moving, it brings in some bait fish and bluefish will feed on it. So we're trying to, we're trying to uh, net some blues this morning see if we can't get our 12 so we can uh, accentuate and add to the, uh, add to the various uh, types of bait we can use between pogies and uh, bluefish. So so, you know, live bait's real important to targeting big kingfish. You can catch, you know, small kings on, on dead bait, but to be consistent with big kingfish, you have to have live bait. And there's times of the year that you have to have big live bait. So we try to have bluefish with us in addition to Manhattan every time we go out. And we figured out that if we can catch fresh bluefish in the dark uh, under some of the bridges around here. And so we'll, we'll come in when the current's rolling, throw the net a couple times, catch our limited bluefish, and then go hunt Manhattan. Catching high quality bait, bluefish, menhaden in our area in King Michael fishing is critical. Joshua and Crockett do a fantastic job. They can see just about anything and the ability to throw a 14 foot cast net is very important. Joshua is fantastic at it. And catching these menhaden, catching these bluefish quickly, being on them, getting them in the live well and getting to the fishing grounds is very, very important to what we're trying to accomplish. More than enough to go fish with. We'll have have to throw some of them back because it'll be over our recreational limit. I don't think it's a hey, quick no, well, at the bridge, caught a lot of bluefish. We're able to keep our 12 recreational limit. Joshua threw a 14 foot Betts cast net. Did a great job, opened it up, pancaked it, and uh, filled it up. So we got the live well ready to go. We're going to try to catch some pogies and get.
get out there on the water. Purpose-built boats, driven by the chase. Designed to go anywhere and do anything. This time of year in the Swansboro Tournament, numerous tournaments in our area, the Hatteras Bite, Ocracoke, that area right there, there can be huge fish, 50, 60 pounders. There's been brought to the scales and a lot of money won. It's a lot of fun. Sometimes it can be super rough, sometimes pretty weather. It all depends on what's gonna happen and where that bait is located and whether or not we can find it and fool one and to bite in what we Yeah, a lot of times that bite will go off just as the sun comes up and we weren't, uh, weren't here right at line in uh, at seven o'clock, but you know, still have a big conduct from last week. Definitely helped us get up here an hour earlier than we would have if we were to have to catch them fresh. start not what we're going to need but one in the boat early so that's always a good thing here we uh, started our run this morning came up core sound ran out drum inlet um, it's about 40 about 40 miles uh, out of drum inlet to run up here um, started fishing right about 750 uh, put our first fish in the boat right at eight o'clock everybody knows that this is where fish are this time of year so most people that are fishing the event are going to be up here you know taking our chance to try to get a good one And we were into a great bite. We caught a lot of fish, and I gotta tell you, it was super fun. We're just waiting for that right one, and that right one is generally always over 50 pounds. And I gotta tell you, you're always in anticipation. It's always fun. And when you catch 15 to 20 fish, any time it could be the right one up in that area. You fish around a lot of other folks. And you know what? You're just hoping that it hits what you've got prepared at that time. We're going to see what happens.
You know, there's something to King mackerel fishing that's really hot. It's not that they taste so great when you catch them or anything like that, but it's not that they provide a different type of bite a lot, but there's something about one of those slimy, silvery king mackerel that you see today. Hit a live bait, something that you put together, something that you're trying to fool them into, and it hits. And I gotta tell you, and that reel goes off and one of those accurates starts screaming and that outgoing alarm clicker that we call it starts firing off and that thing runs a couple hundred yards. I'm going to tell you right now, it sends chills down your spine. It's exciting every single time you do it. There's no question about what happens when it hits and when it really takes off, you know what you're in for. What's my secret? Sirius XM Marine Fish Mapping. The secret's out. Try Sirius XM Marine Fish Mapping today. Bait is key. Good bait is really key into fooling a king mackerel and the right size king mackerel into biting your stuff, you know? And we felt good about it. Even though on day two, we had to catch live bait early. Joshua threw a 14 foot cast net pancake that caught plenty of bait. So we felt good about that. And we headed back up Core Sound and out uh, Drum Inlet. The ocean was good enough for us to run turn. straight to the spot, which is about 42 miles. And, um, you know, we wanted to see if we could produce that one big bite. That's what we were after. So let's see what we can do. You know, it's a, uh, it's real, real disappointing for us. And I know it's disappointing for Crockett because he missed last week's fish, which was from 53 pounds and, and uh, because of work and he's got something else going on today and he never misses a tournament. I think he'd only missed one tournament his entire life and uh, he's had two in a row. And I know that's killing him. It's killing us not to have him too. Because, uh, you know, part of the family is the family. And, um, you know, that's really, quite frankly, why I do it is just to be with my kids and all that. I love the competition, the thrill of the fish, but really the thrill is more about it being around my sons and my family and anything. So we miss you, buddy. We were fishing a tournament here last weekend. It's an aggregate tournament. You have to have a fish both days, combined weight to win. And we caught a 53.4 on day one, right here where we are now. And uh, leading the tournament by five pounds going into the second day. And unfortunately, luck wasn't on our side. We could not get bit. So we ended up with just the one fish. Um, we still won the uh, still won the big fish of the day or of the tournament, but uh, ended up thirty first overall. Yeah, just the two of us on the boat. You know, it's hard clearing lines, controlling the boat, and fighting a fish all at the same time. You really have to have you know three people to be truly efficient at it. There's big ones here. There's a you know a lot of other boats fishing this area, so you got to hope that you're one that gets bit. But there's big fish here to be caught. I like when they sky because then you know how big they are. <laughs> Oh, I think I got the I got this line. It's going down. Just got one wrap, one way or the other.
<laughs> He's not that small. <laughs> He's like 15 pounds. It's on the floor. I'm a Liquid Fire's biggest fan. I just can't help it. I've, I've been their fan from day one. Uh, they go out there, they work hard all week leading up. Uh, they work hard on the water. They work hard after fishing day, cleaning up all the equipment. And, you know, I know what goes into it. You know, through the day, we fished really hard. We caught a lot of quality fish, some really good fish. So, um, it's very important in what we do to make sure that we weigh fish whenever we can, not only for sponsor's sake and that kind of thing, but every time that Audrey and my grandchildren and family members, my mom, my sister, her husband, uh, maybe my daughter, any time that we can have those folks come to the weigh-in is super special. We get off the boat, we see them, we see them smiling, they're cheering for us. You know what? It's really a family thing for us, and so that's really what matters. Of course we want to win, of course we want to catch big fish, of course we want to win money and all that kind of stuff, but the reality is this, that's never why I got into it. You don't make money doing this. I do care very much, though, about leaving a legacy with my family. I love them, I appreciate every single one of them. My wife, the little general, Audrey, she is so involved, pulling trailers and going and doing things. My mom taking her to that. It's a really important family affair for us. Love them all. I appreciate them all. And you know what? The whole Kingfish community. I love all of you. You've made my life in the last 20 years fantastic. And we appreciate everything that this sport has brought to us. Here we go for Liquid 5. 26.67. 26.67. So I like to be there and cheer them on. I don't care, you know, if it's the biggest fish of the tournament. I know how hard they've worked and just want them to know how much, uh, you know, somebody out there appreciates the whole, uh, what everything is entailed to make all this come together. Coastal Kia is home of the truly exceptional experience. That means car buying is fast and simple. So if you're looking for an SUV, Kia has many choices, from small to large. And you can just sign and drive. Click, call, or stop on in. At Coastal Power Sports, it's all about having fun. Cruise the beach in one of our street legal golf carts. You'll find ATVs for work or play. We make fun affordable with zero down options. Coastal Power Sports, next door to Kia. For more than 36 years, Ameritrail has manufactured trailers for all types of boats. Whether it's a single axle trailer for a 16-foot skiff or a mammoth quad axle trailer for a 50-foot plus catamaran, Ameritrail has the knowledge, manpower, and facilities to do the job right the first time. Ameritrail prides itself when ending a great day on the water with a perfect loading trailer and a safe trip home. Ameritrail, load, launch, Relax. Taco Marine's Trolley Edge is brought to you by Furious XM Marine for fish mapping and all of your offshore weather data. Coastal Kia, home of the truly exceptional experience. FXR, conquer the outdoors. 
We're chasing a big fish today, a 59.85 from Windy Conditions. Good friends of ours here out of uh, Carteret County. Fantastic people. Henry, Wendy Tillett, wonderful folks, wonderful fishermen. We got a great field of 50 fantastic fishermen. Caught some good fish yesterday, but not really what we need chasing that big one. It's a big fish tournament, and we're going to go out and see if we can't get one big bite. That's what we're looking to do. We'll keep you posted. Hopefully, y'all come along for a great ride. So as we're watching the weather throughout the week and what it's going to be like, Swansboro 5 -0 is a fish two out of three day event. It's a captain's choice, so you get to pick the best two days. Well, there was a front coming through our area, so we weren't sure which days. We knew Thursday was going to be a day. That was going to be relatively pretty, but Friday and Saturday looked really bad, so we checked our Sirius XM weather mapping service, fish mapping, all the cool things there, so that we did everything that we could to identify and make sure that we knew that we were going to be at least in the right place. Sometimes you can't help what they bite or when they bite if it's a big one or not, but we knew we had a good opportunity to look at the weather, make sure we're safe, get to the grounds that we needed to go, and that's what we did. Based on all the information that we looked at, knew what we had seen on day one, we knew that there was going to be an opportunity right where we were going to catch the right size fish. It was the right place, you know, we needed to see if it could happen at that time. Day two was certainly a little bit different than day one. Once we got there on day one, the bite was on, people were on the bow, fighting a lot of fish. We knew there was some big fish called. Day two was a little bit different though. Um, it was, the bite had shut down a little bit. We caught a fish relatively early, it wasn't a big fish, uh, so it was a little bit of a struggle. We had heard of a couple of decent fish caught, uh, but we weren't really sure uh, of what was going on there. Weren't quite as many boats in the location as it was the day before. Um, boats starting to run around trying to find that big girl. They were doing just like us, trying to find the right fish. I mean, a 60 pound fish isn't just you know easy to find. So we're all trying, we're tr all scrambling, doing everything we can. So bait looked great. We were excited about getting it in there uh, and seeing if we could fool the right one into biting. But we got there, we put them out, caught some fish. One cool thing is that we did have a triple hookup all at one time and Joshua, myself, and Alex, all three of us fought a fish, brought it to the boat, and then all three of us gaffed a fish at that same bite time. That was a little odd, so uh, uh, my gaff shot didn't go quite as well as Alex's and Joshua's, but they're better fishermen than me. So, <laughs> But we all had it, and we all had fun, and uh, that was an interesting situation. You know, with Crockett not being here at this event, we got to pick up the slack. Uh, fortunately, we got Alex on the boat, a great angler. Joshua's a great angler. I guess I can pretend to angle, uh, but the fact of the matter is somebody's got to be on that rod, and that's Crockett most of the time, and I'm real disappointed he's not able to be here with us. But you know what? We're going to do what we need to do. We're going to have fun. We're going to catch some fish. We just hope it's the right one. I'm straight down right here. Next week on Troll the Edge, we're going to be fishing the 2023 Southern Kingfish Association National Championship right in our home waters out of Moorhead City, North Carolina.